while the hearings are going on, the work of the commission will be continuing by way of investigators. But I need to talk about some of the challenges that we have had as a commission. You will be aware that in the previous media briefing, I alluded to the fact that we did have certain challenges in the process of security clearance, clearance which is done by the state security agency. And I indicated then that this security state agency had not been able to meet our expectations and requests in terms of an expeditious processing of security clearance. I indicated at that time that I was going to be writing to the president to ask him to intervene because previously he had indicated to me that if there were challenges, I should approach him. I did write to the president and um, that was at the beginning of August. I think the letter was dated 1st of August. That letter was delivered. Uh, at this stage, or as of Friday, Thursday, the report I got was that <coughs> there is not much that the state security agents had done in terms of expediting the uh, security clearance processes. Uh, at this stage, we, if there's anything that has happened since then, it might have happened over the weekend or Friday over the weekend, but we, as far as I know, we still have that challenge. And uh, I hope that this will be resolved uh, pretty soon because we have already lost a long time. Already when I, we had the media briefing, we had had quite some time when we were expecting the state security agents to fast track some of these pro processes. We are hoping that uh, it will be resolved because the work that, needs, that the commission needs to do is urgent. We are constantly uh, asked uh, how far we are and I have a team that is working day and night to try and make sure that uh, the work of the commission is given the urgent attention that it deserves. But the fact of the matter is that a commission such as this depends to a very large extent on government departments for certain things. It's, it depends on the cooperation of government departments for many things. At this stage, there are ministers that uh, we have had to deal with, and at ministerial levels, those that we have dealt with have been very supportive, have been very cooperative, but sometimes there are challenges with regard to officials. We have had some delays also in um, the dealings of the commission with the National Treasury uh, over the past few months, so much so that on two occasions I've had to ask the Minister of Finance to intervene so that there could be progress. And on two occasions, on each occasion that I've asked the Minister of Finance, he has given the Commission full cooperation, he has been supportive, and he intervened successfully so that progress could be made. We have those challenges. We hope that uh, all concerned, including officials in various government departments, appreciate that uh, this commission needs full and proper cooperation for, from all of them. Indeed, the terms of reference of the commission, as well as the regulations, make it quite clear that government departments must give full cooperation to this commission. We are going to continue to do the best that we can, but it, it, I thought it was important to mention that uh, uh, for certain things, we really have to depend on other people.
a few weeks ago, we issued a public notice where we invited the public, anyone who has information that is relevant to our investigation, who has evidence of allegations of state capture and corruption and fraud relating to the work that we are doing, having regard to the terms of reference, to come forward and give that information to the Commission. The response has not been what we were expecting. The response has been uh, quite disappointing. I would like to take this opportunity to once again ask the public to please, if they have information, to come forward. We are all, everybody wants this commission to finish this job as soon as possible. But obviously, if it is to do its job properly, it needs to have information. And we all know that there are many people out there who know and who have evidence and who know some of the things that were happening. But if they don't come forward, uh, that doesn't help this commission and that doesn't help this country. This commission is an opportunity for all of us in this country to play a role, to contribute to finding a solution to two very important issues to us as a nation. One, corruption, two, state capture. And of course, for purposes of this commission, the two are linked. State capture, if the allegations that we are going to investigate are proven to be true, includes individuals who may have decided that they would want to be able effectively to make decisions that should be made by constitutionally appointed functionaries of the state. That is something very serious. That is something that should not be allowed and that's part of the reason why there is this commission. People in municipalities, people in provincial governments, people in national government, do they not have any information? Public representatives who serve in different capacities, members of the executive, national, provincial, do they not have any information? We urge all South Africans who love this country to come forward and assist this commission in order that we may resolve this problem.